roll call. Okay, this is the Heritage and Arts regular meeting, November 28, 5.30 p.m., actually starting at 5.31 p.m. Roll call, Chair Etemad. Here. Vice Chair Gupta absent. Commissioner Farron. Commissioner Fong. Here. Commissioner Hall expected to arrive. Commissioner Mujica Beavers absent. Commissioner Noguez. Yeah. Thank you. Any oral communications? Check. Nobody present none. here. Seeing none. Okay. Nothing is on the consent calendar, so we'll move to the chair report. Okay, I uh, I just have few few things to say. Um, first of all, Al Annalise Ashley's uh, soft opening went pretty well last Thursday, and twenty at least twenty of her very close friends came, and she was very happy, and she's. Looking forward to uh, the article in the ARC coming up and her opening reception on 7th, December 7th. Then I had uh, the help of uh, Patty Pickett, our wonderful liaison, uh, try to find the donor's um, address and presence so that I could uh, personally take Thomas Jackson's photographs as a thank you to them. So one of the donors, the lady is not around. I think she's away in uh, some sort of um, holidays or something, but I will still um, try to find her, but Paddy talked to email her to the foundation. So I uh, wrote, she wrote a nice uh, card from all of us and I signed it and uh, I personally took it to their house. And then I had an email the next day from, from her thanking me immensely for bringing their uh, photo. I, I apologize that it is not framed. We have let you to do your own framing. So they were very happy and thankful as well. The next thing is all our, our ad hocs are have been quite successful, except one that we will. Fine, Fran. Commissioner Hall is joining us. Hello. We've started the meeting, Fran. We're just on the chair report. Okay. Yes, we're done with that. So we can go to first action item. Okay, the first action item, and on your printed um, agenda, it cut off the first line of the first action item. You can see it on your screen. Keanu in the South Knoll Park, receive update regarding location and policy for cancellation due to inclement weather. Consider approval of location and cancellation policy. I would just like to... Um, uh, report on my part, and then I'll turn over the floor to Judith. Um, that Judith Ward. to Judith Ward, excuse me. Um, that the um, the Kagan Green has been approved by the town of Tiburon for this event. Should you wish to approve that location, so do you have anything, any other things to tell us, and then we will take a vote on that. Yeah, actually, I've been in touch um, with Lori Nowak and also um, her assistant, Chelsea Bushnell, who will be taking care of all the contractual matters. Um, and I had a call with Chelsea today just to clarify some questions that they had for us. Um, and I had forwarded some of those to Patty for 
um, some research with the city just so that we could confirm. So um, we are tentatively confirmed for the 19th at 4 p.m. Um, so we're moving into sort of a contract phase with them. They're going to provide us with a, a draft by the 8th of December. Um, they had a few questions and uh, we've clarified most of them, but I wanted to just give you a sort of summary. Um, okay. They want to know who will be sponsoring the event officially for the $6,000 that we would contribute. Um, at this point, we've said that uh, the h &A is kind of overseeing that as the sponsor for now, but we'll probably provide them with more information about specific donors if there are specific organizations in addition to that. Um, it's not really urgent right now to have that information, but I think they would. it would be nice to know by February um, because they're going to be announcing their season then and they like to list the sponsors in the brochures if possible. Um, but it can be, we can add sponsors as late as, you know, maybe a, a few weeks before the concert if we want it in the program for the event. So um, the capacity of the park, they're looking for 400 to 450 people now. Um, they had told us initially that they could only accommodate 200 with headphones. Um, they can now accommodate up to 600. Um, so they've really expanded yeah. their capacity for next year. Um, so uh, in discussing this a little bit with Patty about um, the venue, um, we were talking about McKegney Green and she looked, she talked to the city about that potential um, because that could be a better space if we're going to have a larger audience. Um, and that could accommodate up to a thousand, but um, so there are there are issues with parking and things like that we'd have to figure out. Um, but it may, may be a better venue overall. Um, Hunter and Lori are actually in San Francisco this week. Um, to go to the Pink Martini concerts. Mm. Um, and I think from what I understand, they're planning to, to stop by Tiburon and have a look at the site again. Oh, that would be nice. Um, they had questions about toilets. Um, and I told them we had the ones near McKegney and the ones also at South Mole Park and they thought that would be sufficient. Um, they had questions about whether dogs are allowed. Um, they don't mind if dogs are there, but we have restrictions on McKegney. So we'll just have to clarify that so that they can inform their audiences of the policy. It is an absolute no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unless people stay on the path. Right. So, right. which right. is, possible. which is very possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's possible with the headphones that people could make that choice. They could sit on the water side. And... Right. Um, they had a question about the block of free tickets they were planning if we had 400 people they would want to allocate at least 40 free tickets to um for free to specific organizations so they would like us to choose a group that we might want to recommend um and so i i don't know if we have they mentioned you know social services um you know we could I don't know if there's specific organizations in Tiburon that we'd want to partner with to provide those tickets. And I mentioned to her the possibility of if we do more fundraising, offering more free tickets with sponsors to others. So that's, I, I think they are willing to give 40 or, or whatever percentage of the number we decide on for the audience. So, so we need to come up with, um, that. Um, and I guess one thing I thought about was whether we want it to be Tiburon specific or if we want to go broader in Marin County um, and include other social organizations or underserved communities or schools. I mean, there's a lot of possibilities. The They had a question about alcohol, um, whether we allow it. Um, I didn't know if that's because they wanted to sell it. And she said, they're not selling alcohol, but they just, um, I think the contract is pretty clear about not being liable for alcohol. 
Yeah. Do you want me to weigh in on that? Sure. So <clears throat> I checked that out right away. And there is an open container law in the town of Tiburon, which means that you can bring your own alcohol. There's just no sales uh, allowable there at the site under any circumstances. So if people are bringing picnics and they have a bottle of wine or they have beer or whatever they have, that's their personal use and it's happening all the time and that is allowable. So um, if you yeah. can take that back to them, as long as it's not being served, that yeah. is the key. My only concern, I guess, is if they would end up using McKegney. Um, I think there is a policy there about alcohol. And, and that is the policy. Right. Uh, Nora, please. Um, my recollection, and it's been a while now, is when the proposal came forward about possibly having uh, trucks and vendors at soccer games and increasing right. the, uh, the, the use of McKegney, my understanding is that it was clear from the existing policy that there's no alcohol on the green. No, not true. Okay. Not true. It's that... No, it didn't extend beyond no served alcohol. So if people come as individuals, there's an open container law, they can come into our parks, any, and including McKegney, because I checked on that. And yes, they can bring it. Hmm. It just cannot be served. You can't have a cart. You can't have a truck. You can't have any of that kind of thing. Or even just free handouts by the piano people would not work. Yeah. So, yeah. If they're bringing, if private citizen is bringing their picnic, there's no checking at the door because we don't, it's already happening. I mean, it's happening because it's legal. There's no commercial. Yeah, correct. No organized. Let's call it organized. Yeah, I think that's the key because they have offered to not make a commercial at different sports events, but there's still no. And they have rules and regs around children's events. Probably, but I haven't even seen that. I'll, I'll yeah. look at it again yeah. because it yeah. was an issue that was raised by oh, the Greenlands yes. community, right? Um, Homeowners Association, because there was a proposal to serve alcohol, and we said absolutely not. Serve. Yeah. There's yeah. the key. Serve. So I'll, I'll yeah. double check. Yeah, that. that's but, that's the that's the overriding thing is the serving part. Okay. Yeah, I don't think for them it matters so much. I think it may determine what they put in their contract with us if we allow it to be to be consumed on okay. site so they just don't want to be responsible possibly right that's makes a difference that's insurance. yeah mm -hmm. um they asked about obtaining a permit and whether would they would need one i i think they will but i don't know the process so um patty Yes, there will be a permit involved, but and it'll probably be more involved than the usual permit because it'll probably be, at, be attached to the agreement, the whole contractual agreement. Mm -hmm. So it'll just be an expanded type of event application. Okay, and then the other thing, they were wanting some photographs um, that they could use in marketing materials of the site. Um, and I, I kind of had them look at our website because there's some there's some photos there, but maybe we have something better we can provide. Yeah, there aren't really any, we really actually don't have any shots of McKegney Green. I was, I remember I was- my, uh... Yeah, but I mean, professional, oh. we're talking about professional, like wide angle shots and everything. At least have professional. I think that, <laughs> I think that there, it's probably gonna be up to them to, to bring a photographer or if any of them are really good with their and get wide angle shots and the things that are going to be, they know what they're looking for, for their promotion, but we really don't have anything of McKegney green. Yeah. I found, say. I found a nice one on the Marin IJ website. Oh, there you go. When they did an article about the renovation of the field. You have to ask them, of course, to use but I, I sent them that one and said, you might want to get permission from them if they. Oh, oh good. There so must be some already because. Yeah. We so don't the have field any. has been used for uh, right, but we haven't taken. I mean, if you can children. find people who have taken them, but yeah. I would say that for their needs, they may want specific. There's one on our look. website on the town of Tiburon under the McKinley McKin Green section. Oh, okay, which is more of an aerial view, right? But right, that's kind of a use picture, right? Yeah. So I guess at this point, um, we'll wait for the draft contract. Um, we do need to confirm the venue because um, we hadn't really discussed that here. We talked about South Knoll. 
Um, that's the site they initially had been interested in. Yeah, that's why we have it on here for the approval of the location of moving to McKegney. That is what we are going to do to the, tonight. Mm -hmm. We need a, a motion. Can I ask a question first? Of uh, course, uh, yes. Um, that's the manicure. Where the Can you on? put your uh, microphone on? I'm not sure it's on. Gonna blow in to it. Hello. Okay. Good. <laughs> okay. For McKegney, I mean, I should know this because I walk on it every day. Um, that's the manicured soccer field. Yes. Yes. So I just want to: is the vision that we would have three hundred chairs, or is the vision that everybody's on blankets? That hasn't been brought up, but my understanding is, isn't usually it's bring your own. So that's, what I, that's yeah. what I thought he operated under. Right. Okay. I, and then my I'm doubtful they would have lawn chairs anyway, except yeah. for the lawn chairs. So that would be a question because they're so um, manicured for soccer mm -hmm. that I wanted to clarify whether or not people would be allowed to have their own lawn chair, which I assume they will because they're there picnicking with them all the time. Yeah. Okay. So that's okay. Um, so we will not be responsible Correct. for setting up chairs. Correct. They wouldn't allow chairs because of tearing up the field. Right. It's also, I think after the soccer season, I don't think there'll be a lot of it's actually not, but lacrosse. And lacrosse so they, they said, you give us the date and I already have, and they will then block out because town events will always take precedence, take precedence even uh, over the schools. Yes, I have a question. Um, this is getting to be pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. New <laughs> counselor. Um, with so many people, do we have to clear with the police department for safety besides parking uh shuttles the police or... on all events large or small are brought in for pre yeah meetings so for a setup absolutely they will be many? involved the public works will be involved the police department everyone will be involved and will coordinate all of that and my other if there, oh, oh i just want to say if there's any overriding big traffic control need then the town can ask the event organizer to provide that. But I don't see that there's traffic control if they asked for extra. So how it works is the, the police and the public works really go the extra mile of, of, of doing because they love to be involved. But if the organization says we want X number of policemen there, then it becomes a contractual agreement and it, they pay for it. So in the preliminary meetings, I mean, has it ever come up that they actually want security? No, I Not, haven't seen it in any other. Right. I mean, I've, I've right. been to two of their events. So the police department will take care of any disorderly conduct or whatever. Any large you know. gathering, they're going to be present. Okay. They're going to be aware and they're going to be present in some yeah. way, in some fashion. But if they're asked to be there specifically, then there's a contract and they're paid for Okay. Yeah. So it's not from us. We don't have to do it. No special request or anything. My other concern is uh, <clears throat> porta potties. Uh, I think with the two <laughs> restrooms might not be enough, but that's a side side thought. According to the, I checked on that. I said, well, if they have five hundred to six hundred people, it's okay. Is it enough? And he said, technically, that those are absolutely okay. enough with the I ones don't know at what South the of Mall Park. Is, but that's good right, to hear. I know. Yeah, but it, so, so it would be up to the outfit. How do, how many restrooms do they usually have? They were concerned about that. Um, they had suggested, <laughs> I think, four. Um, no, you had said that we have four. Yeah, they hadn't been concerned about that. So okay. I, I can check. But okay. I have one question about parking. If you're expecting... 500 people right do we have enough parking no so that's where a shuttle this is something that mm -hmm. when you're fundraising and thinking about expense we shop probably should look into early on shuttling from downtown okay uh shuttle it's possible that we could approach the westminster church and the kol shafar and those have been used as parking areas nearby for other big events I don't know what their policies are. 
But um, those are things to be looked into because you're definitely not going to have a lot enough parking. And our parking cannot be reserved, which means if it fills up with park goers before the concert, there aren't even any parking spots. Can I use Del Mar? <clears throat> Very possibly, yes. I would think the school would be wonderful because people can walk right yeah, from there. Excellent. Excellent. My other question was that I was looking at it last <laughs> night um, for handicapped and access for the seniors and elderly, it do, you know, is it, do we need to look into getting um, access down those roads from the parking lot? There's an, there's fire roads that are, they not, can be uh, driven. The yeah. People have been driven. So I'm not even sure that a golf cart and those kinds of things are needed. We'll just have to find out who's going to provide it and how and what the regulations are. Can't just ask somebody to get in your car if they have an ADA need. So those are you know important questions but they can get motorized access that's the beauty of mckagney green even better than the other side they have done <laughs> this event at chrissy field which is mm. kind of similar. similar so it'd be interesting to know like what although that's in the city so it's a little bit different but, yeah but still yeah that's like Well, the okay, location then, is really wonderful. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy that they are allowing that. Mm -hmm. I mean, they that wasn't it's where we access. talked about doing it initially, and and they, you know, hopefully they're fine with that. I would think mm -hmm. they are because it gives the even more space, um, and it's basically the same. It's just on the other side of the hill, so yeah. it's a it's a little less intimate, I guess, and because it's next to the road. I mean, I feel like the other one's a little hit, more hidden. The other one is a little more, uh, yes, but the weather, it's more protected on McKagany Green with the hillock behind you. Yeah. And accessibility is very important at this, it, in our yeah. town. Yeah. You know, not everybody can. Yeah, I mentioned that. <laughs> yeah, so they have to. Um, and then in terms of the the location, or sorry, the weather, did, were you, did you have more the questions contract? about that the What's cancellation? The contract? I think that actually was kind of left over from the last one and got left in there because I think that you answered that pretty clearly that if there was a big storm, unlikely, or something that another date would just have to try to be figured out. Right. Um, and hopefully that would be known well enough in advance to... I don't think they've had to cancel. I, he, she mentioned that they did cancel or sort of cancel a concert mid concert last season mm. because of thunder and lightning uh which is pretty unusual <laughs> here but um <laughs> never know <laughs> and i think i believe it he does. played on anyhow but the audience left so. i'm gonna say that's part of the experience <laughs> I understand. but i think that's something they really embrace anyhow with mm -hmm. these concerts is Part being able to environment. you know whatever <laughs> nature brings he'd be having in a concert hall if not <laughs> No. Okay. Um, so any other questions? No, I think we have covered oh. it, maybe. Do you just, have any yeah. more questions? I just wonder if the PASP could come up with a proposal or some names of the groups that you might want to work with, because I know PASP did have some ties with the Marin City group. Mm. And then maybe you could just kind of do the preliminary. I think it's hard for all seven of us to kind of. You mean you know, for the free ticket? Yeah, for the uh, nonprofit partnership, maybe. Yeah, I just wasn't clear on what the scope of that would be, whether we'd want to. I don't. And I don't know all the town. All yeah, <laughs> maybe you could. Well, but also, I think on behalf of the income qualified uh, residents of the community, yeah. I would advocate that um, we make it very available to them as a priority of our the community that we actually serve mm -hmm. um because there you know there's the um hillarita mm -hmm. and yeah. there's seniors and fixed income residents yes, so, so i think good idea and students as soon as the january meeting we should line out all the discussion and at the top will be the sponsors and the the free ticket allocation probably get an ad hoc going on the sponsorship and so on and so forth. And then, and then, you know, divide off and conquer. Yeah. And then be able to come back in February because it's all going to happen. Boom, boom. 
So January needs to be a really orga organizing meeting for all of this. Any more questions <clears throat> from commissioner? No. So I think we're ready for a motion on the yes, location. Please. Could somebody? Move? I'd move to accept the location of McKegney Green for the proposal to have. Uh, oh, okay, that's fine. Okay, and roll call vote. Get in order here. Chair Etamon? Yes. Commissioner Farron? Yes. Commissioner Fong? Yes. Commissioner Hall? We're voting. Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, Commissioner Noguez. Yes. All in favor, aye. Thank you. Aye. Moving on to action item number action two, item two, the artist exhibition calendar 2023-24, which you have in front of you, an updated version since the last meeting. Yeah. Receive update on the calendar and hear report on the meeting with Indian artist Ravati Natasan. Consider approval of date request for Natasan and consider coinciding with the Diwali festival dates, which are happening on the first weekend of November in 2024. Okay, <clears throat> hey, for that, so, uh, I was ad hoc with you, the. Judith. Arjun Gupta, and uh, this artist is a good uh, friend of um, Commissioner Gupta, so we went and we had a few hours of mourning with her, and we absolutely loved her work. Her work is so amazing and so different, and it can talk to everyone around here that they all is so different from the usual. And uh, unfortunately she was insisting on uh, having her show next year in during the springtime, April, May. No, May, June. May, June, actually. But unfortunately, I would, uh, I've been working with Patty Pickett, and uh, she has reached out to the artist. Um, Jet Walker. Is Jet Walker, who is in our... Uh, yes. Thing, and she cannot move her work. She, she has refused to change her she venue she moved already from september One october time. she was yeah. asked to move to may june and she would be willing except that she already is involved in two family weddings in the month of july so she cannot go take the july august so she's remaining where she is in may june yeah so um and it was too early for her to take march april was that well, we really have to talk with her, and I don't want to do it on my own. Let Arjun Gupta come, and uh, we have to set a date of some sort. She was saying that she may be uh, going to uh, trips and things in the summer time, so she didn't like to be part of the... Uh, um, a festival in uh, end of the year, so she did not want to be part of Diwali festival. So we have to talk with her again because she is even wants to have artists talk as well. So it would be really a wonderful show for us. So I think we have to take a little time until we fix a date for her that it is doable for her. Just next clarification, year. she's not available in July and August, is that correct? Because that's empty up. July and August, she says that she she's may traveling. be traveling and so on. I so maybe, as Patty was saying, she may not be traveling for the whole month. 
Maybe she can just somehow fix I, it up. I suggested that if she could yeah. install her work and and then we could work with whatever date works for her for reception and presentation lecture and so on in her travels if she's not gone for two full months. Yeah. So we really need to discuss it with her and see what she says. At the moment, we cannot do that. So, and are you, have so you spoken to her? And have you spoken to Simin uh, Masudi? Oh, yeah, because... and then Simin Masudi, I talked with her and she said that she has enough work to do a show. So I was asking to see if it would be good to do it in April, March and April, where uh, there's going to be a Persian New Year festival again this year also, like last year. So it would be kind of related to the Persian New Year. And she said she would be very happy to do a show then. So would she do a program at all with her? A program about certain I don't or anyone else in celebration. Well, we haven't discussed it to that extent, but discussion has been her work to be hung in our gallery. So once we okay that, then I will uh, talk with her and see. Yeah, just wondering. Actually, Thank Patty you. Uh, <laughs> suggested you. maybe for the uh, reception, we can have some Persian goodies as well. <laughs> so that comes after we make a decision. I have uh, wanted to raise the concern about the, um, at the last meeting, It we put in Black History Month for the schools, January, February. January, February is upon us. And of course we know that they're not going to be get ready at the beginning of January, but has there been any outreach to the schools about this program? Okay. So um, will that happen before the, they go on break? Yes. Wonderful, okay, so we'll hear about that at the January meeting. So it'll be more like the month of February, one assumes. Okay. Yes, they need to know as soon as possible so that they can put things together. I Thanks. was asked by Diane Smith, who's putting what brought this to mind. She called today to finish her article about um, uh, Annalise um, Ashley, so it will come out the week of her reception. She wondered how long it would run. I said, well, technically until we close on the 22nd, I said, but I imagine that it can right. certainly stay there in January. It's a beautiful show as long as it's needed, as long as that's okay with Annalise. So we should check with her and make sure that's all right. Yes, and, I have um, asked her and she said, yes, okay. And then that way we don't have any empty walls. And it can that's right. Yeah. That is, it's a beautiful show. Just mm -hmm. the day before the closing okay, of town. Town of the Rock. So that's good. So we um, have a number of artists that I haven't contacted yet that were interested, uh, unless anyone else is bringing any forward that um, Azita had given me the cards for, but we wanted to first get, um, try to work with, um, sorry, I have to always, Ravati Natasan no. to get her dates <laughs> solidified. So I was just, we're waiting for that after yeah. Arjun comes back. If we can get that nailed down, then I can reach out and try to fill these other spots. Yeah, and then door. once Azita shows up in town, I think we have to ask her, to see if she well, she's has... waiting for me to contact the artist. She gave me all the oh, artists. Oh, she is. Yes. Oh, yeah. But I, that's I didn't right. want to move forward till we hear She from gave this all lady. the information to, yeah. to you. Mm -hmm. We have to write to them. Okay, we will we'll try to do that. Um, and then there's the Marin Open Studios. That should be on the agenda also in January for any yeah, for updates, what year. they're doing. Yes. and. May 4th, I think, May 4th weekend. Four or five. Mm -hmm. Four and five. So. Sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Uh, we are going to have Marine Open Studios here. Okay. May 4th and 5th. Yes. You have to apply 
to them That's first. It is for the artists who live around yeah. here. Yes. Yes. Question. So then take it, I take it then that by the next meeting, we'll have a better sense of who mm -hmm. yes. is interested and who's not interested, which may open up opportunities for people that we haven't considered yet. Correct. Okay. And, and yes, okay. all the, I have a list of six different artists that were interested. And if anyone, and also if between now and then any commissioner wants to bring okay. another artist forward, let me know as soon as possible so everyone okay. can be in the mix. And now you can see what the dates are, although right. assumedly one of them is going to be taken by. Or she might move to 2025 if it doesn't work for her, I'm guessing. Okay. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm always in very close contact with Patty on this so that we fill up our calendar now that we have a beautiful gallery. Oh, and I should report that um, I am zeroing in for Don's show. Um, yes. January, February. I was looking at the weekend of the 13th, but realizing that it's awfully close to the, the opening of the year and everyone getting back. So I'm I'm pushing towards January 20th. So for the reception, if you want to note that that's a Saturday. Because I won't. So that would be before our meeting. Mm -hmm. And that's okay because I since it is coinciding with the celebration of life, I'll be taking care of that. So it's not something that we need to meet on in terms of if everyone's okay with that date. Saturday. Yes. Thank you. Hey, I can start. Was there any other comments? Excuse me. Is there any more there comments? There's no vote to take. We don't have a, an answer yet. I don't see if we did. And we'll move on to action item number no, three. Number three, yes. Uh, the public art fund request to the town council review and consider approval of the draft of a request yes. to the town to allocate $50,000 from the general fund reserves to the HNA public art fund in 2024. And you have a copy of the draft before you and assumably have already read through it. We did an ad hoc with uh, Commissioner Gupta and Commissioner Fong, and it has been a very successful ad hoc meetings. And Commissioner Gupta has written this proposal, and we have okayed it, and we had our views on it, and it looks a very nice one. I hope you have all read that because it's important that we make a vote on it tonight. So it goes immediately to um, to Mr. Channing to put it in there in the town council's agenda. For December, for December 6. December 6. And Arjun Gupta, Commissioner Gupta will be presenting it. That's correct. Along with the chair. And then we will sit as... We'll be there. <laughs> we'll be there we'll be as there. well. So um, has I, everybody read about... read? I just think this is serving on the ad hoc. It's been a pleasure and it's been a long, long step. And I know uh, Commission Nora also worked on it in, in the background <laughs> for these years. I think this is a real positive step forward to give the commission the opportunity to explore, to expand, and to serve the public better. And the town has a final say on any of our proposals, but this will give us some flexibility to do our work. Yes, and we did some, Arjun Gupta did meet for a friendly chat with uh, Mayor Ryan and uh, explained everything to him and he was quite um, uh, agreeable with it. He showed his ag agreement with it that we do need Support. this, yes. So we are going to hope for the best, I'm sure. Well, without public comments or anyone else's, I'm ready to 
make the motion for approval. Of course, yes. <laughs> if there is no questions, please do so. Exactly. Yeah, that was a grammar. Yeah, uh, edit. Is there an edit? Yeah. You done? Can you? <laughs> I have just one small grammatical correction. I don't know if anybody else had any, but uh, that's. Go ahead and no. record it. Okay. I know. Fifth paragraph, first sentence in this light, the Heritage and Arts Commission respectfully requests uh, that the town, I think we need to insert that. So, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> that the town set aside $50,000. Oh, Only because I do this for work. <laughs> okay. Well, I can add that. Any questions? I don't know that so, we need to no. vote on grammar punctuation. No, but as a, as amended. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Commissioner Hall, do you have a question? Yes, I think we should do that. So you're it's necessary. It is necessary, yes. That's for I, sure. I move that we approve the proposal to fund the Tiburon Public Art Program with the addition of the word that, as noted, um, and submit it as is with the addition. Uh, we all approve. Okay, and roll call vote. Chair Etamon? Yes. Uh, Commissioner Farron? Yes. Commissioner Fong? Yes. Commissioner Hall? Yes. Commissioner Noguez. Yes. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Thank you. So that concludes the action items. Yes. We move on to the one discussion item. Annalise Ashley reception, discuss setup and volunteer duty. For artist. I will help with the bar again. <laughs> Taking that away seven, from nine. Commissioner Gupta. No, no, no. I, I work with give, good <laughs> to, <laughs> the, the bartenders will be there. We have um, sufficient. Do we have wine. any wines? Yes, wine and, and water. Water, I know we have plenty. We have plenty of wine. Yes. Thanks to Bosco Marais, who donated all that wine. I'd like to remind yes. everyone there was no charge going forward. Cover us for a year, probably. <laughs> um and utensils and that, all that type of thing. Um, it comes down to will there be food and who will be providing it as Annalise Ashley was asked to uh, put on, to to uh, put this exhibit up. So I don't know whether the h &A would wanna consider doing the reception. She already did her own little private thing with cookies, but um, have to make some decision there. Okay. I would just like to say that Please. Annalise was approached and is essentially doing this big favor because we didn't have anybody. And this is going to bring a lot of attention to the public art selection panel as well as heritage notes because we are you know all together on this. And she, um, I can speak from my personal experience, has done so much for this community over the years by not only you know, being a teacher in the school district, starting a school at the Belvedere um, St. Stephen's Church, and also by all of the volunteer work that she has done over the years at the library and generations of oh. Tiburon residents know who she is because she's, you know, been yeah. their teacher. Yeah. You um, should know her. So I think that we should allocate yeah. money to put the reception on ourselves. And I would be more than happy to do it in terms of setup. I can't be there for cleanup because I've got another event that evening, but I will do everything to help set it up. Thank you very much. I'm in agreement with um, with the value that Annalise has Thank shared. You. I'm willing to help you too. Yeah. Oh, wow. oh, that's fantastic. That's very nice. Do we have a, a really start worthy? Do we have a start time for setup in a in a well let's um, do about the an hour before. Six. 6 p.m. Six to eight. Up, usually starts an hour before at five. Five o'clock. Five o'clock, to... we can get everything together, but yeah. we need some food. Somebody has got to buy it. Right. So. Annalise is very, she likes simple spreads. She likes she's, simple. She doesn't like fancy. 
And she has had, I, I would remind everyone, she had her gathering, there were probably 25 people there. Um, whether they will come again, they probably will to support her, but maybe not all of them. So I, I don't expect it to be that big. Hour. <laughs> What's that? I announce to everyone, please make sure that you do count. Okay, good. On good. So yeah. maybe you count on 30 people. I... Yes. Um, can I ask how many RSVPs we've had? It's for next week, a week from. Nobody's even, it's it's always the artist getting the word out. Okay, we didn't so send out, we don't have a, ma we can't send out oh, a mailing yeah. list to people. Yeah. Is it on our website? But no. Is it on any calendar, community can calendar? No. Oh yeah, it's on the, well, Tib Talk. The ARC. <laughs> Uh, yeah, in the arc, it will come out. And, it will, no, in, well, no, Diane Smith. <laughs> yeah, is doing, be on Diane that. Smith is doing a whole article on her. That will cool. come out that week on Tuesday, and then it's on Thursday. So that is the invitation. That's okay. as it has always been, and then the artists always and do their own invitations. Is she mentioning the event? In the she's doing a whole article and the event. Yeah, yeah. 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 It'll be com yeah. coming out in time. And How about Tiburon Talk? Tip Talk. Tip talk or the well, one that come out get time. every week. Every she usually week. puts, yeah, she's putting it in the tip talk, and that's going out tomorrow or the next day. Oh, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. Oh, that would be very nice. Yes, yeah. I keep on. Norm normally, uh, the artists um, do provide the food for the reception, but as um, Commissioner Nogues said, we really owe it to her. And we're happy to do whatever we need. But I also want to suggest that we'll keep it as simple as possible in terms of work. I know uh, with the last reception, um, you did a lot of work, Nora, <laughs> with rolling up the prosciutto and all of that. But I wonder if we could just go ahead during the holiday season time just to buy some prepared trays. It doesn't have to be expensive. I mean, you know. No, just the thought. But just make it's it easy so for fun. all all of us to be able to participate during this busy season. You're right. Well, we the way last time Nora Probably and Patty had bought the, those beautiful cheeses, cheese and those cheeses were fabulous. Cheese and crackers, and then some holiday cookies and things like that. Well, I'm not dropping names or anything but i've seen actually at costco they have the anapasta and uh, tray all made up for about forty dollars we could supplement it or yeah because i won't whatever. i won't be able to do that before this yeah this weekend. so it's, it's a busy busy time and i'm yeah. just wondering I but i costco trust delivers too yeah well I think they deliver. Don't we'll talk know. about it this isn't for yeah. commission yeah it's oh, easy that's good it's easy yeah you yeah. can do this thank you okay all right, so we have a time, it's five set up. Everybody's going to be here. Probably, yes. I, I yeah, imagine Commissioner to Gupta will want to be here if he can. Uh, and and uh, Commissioner Mohika Beavers will be back also. She's going to be back. She comes back today, in fact, tonight. She'll be here for two weeks. So everyone will be here six to eight or whenever it ends. Yes. Okay. So are we clear on the time then? Is it six to eight? Well, if we're doing set up at Six, do you want to start earlier at 5.30? I mean, go I ahead. Start and... at five. Start I, at five. I can start at five. Oh, for the setup, yes. No, but but I was... I'm saying the reception itself, because in terms of letting people know, like if we have friends or people that we want to tell about it, it's six. I think I gave oh, to Diane. Six. Six. six, I think six. 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 Normally. I'll double check with her, but. But I, I wouldn't mind moving. I think I gave her six. But... The next one. Because that's what it usually is, because people are working. Working. Mm -hmm. Commuting. <laughs> well we can May. go to the calendar dates yes we have a lot of yes, calendar dates have a full um, calendar so coming up I... December 5 next Tuesday uh, under the auspices of our town historian um, so I, I err in putting Landmark's presentation because he was very careful to separate that he's now separating himself of course he works with them but he is our town historian and wants to do more of this type of thing town historian presentation of the Peninsula Maritime History. It's the first time it's been shown here on the peninsula. He showed it up in Marin County once 
and um, apparently it's, and he's been doing a lot of advertising. So I think it's going to be a pretty good turnout. So it'd be nice to have the support of I just, just want to, I just want, want to here. say that um, it's very nice for our commission. The poster at the library is as sponsored by the Heritage and Arts That's Commission. Right. He was, yep. So it's, yep. it's right there on the He's poster. Very so it's very Oh, that's fortunate nice. for us. That is. He that's is a good way to get out. Yeah. Of yeah. And it's a public. nice, big, um, bigger poster yeah. there. We so. should be present. I'm going to come. Yeah, I am and here. So. Should any... be a pretty good full house. He usually pulls yeah. a good crowd. Is that's that at really 7? Really starts it at is. 7? 7 p.m. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He wanted to give it time for people to eat before. So... I have actually spoke to him and he wanted to me to make sure that to encourage everyone to come. Oh, Unfortunately, yeah. I cannot. Okay. Well, I've got we can't conference. all come there. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. He's yeah, going to be doing good. another program okay. in January sometime. It may be a, his dates are getting tight and we couldn't accommodate. It may be over the be. library, but it would still be a town historian, okay. us as sponsors, yeah. but it may be over there. Oh, but this one's here. Correct. Uh, Thursday, we know, is mm -hmm. uh, 6 p.m. on Lee Satchley reception on December 7. December 10, Sunday, are two concerts, and those are landmark concerts yeah. up at Old St. Hilary Musee, always sellouts, 1 and 4 p.m. I know he could use help if anyone would volunteer. Um, I think I'm busy for the first time that day, cannot make it. Um, so really if you would step forward on either driving or taking care of the little wine table it would be so helpful and just as a matter um if i'm okay i will do that i will uh, help him i usually help him with pouring wine whenever i'm there so yeah. and azita might be able to help yeah um, to add to it is that it's also the day of the tiburon holiday festival Yes, it's a huge day, which is many eleven to taking two. place. It, it's it's a Sunday the tenth. It is the yeah. same day. Many many things happening that day. Twenty yeah. second Friday town hall <clears throat> closes December. 6th. So if you can help, I'll just send out a reminder, and you can respond directly to him if you're able to. Okay. Um, December 22, Friday, town hall closes on the at the end of the workday on the 21st. So it should say town hall closed yeah. on Friday, December 22nd. Reopening January 3rd. Just point that out because there are a lot of other things open. Reopening January 2nd. We reopen January 3rd. Long, complicated reason why. Wednesday, January 3rd, Town Hall reopens. And December 26th, that, of course, would be our regular meeting canceled. Yes. So our next regular meeting is Tuesday, January 23rd, 5.30 p.m. Thank you for doing the calendar. Um, <laughs> yes, this chair. is really good. And about your um, Don's show. You have to have some times to give it to us to put it in our calendars. Oh, you mean for the reception? For the reception. Oh yes, yeah. I I'll be in contact, but I gave you the date. Yes, and she, I did offer to help uh, yeah. Daddy in hanging, but she would like to do it herself, which is very understandable. It's going to look very beautiful. So, um. Landmark is going to pick up their work. We're going to meet on the same day, probably when the town hall is closed, and he'll come in and take his work, and I'll put the, the other same. Work up. Yeah. Oh, I see. Are already okay. Hanging there, and it's just great, easy. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Chair, thank you. Well, it looks like it's the journey. Yeah, oh, uh, I know it's not on the agenda, but I'd like to offer an item for the next agenda, yes. which is the PASP membership. Yeah, I know Judith Ward will be reporting on the PASP, the yeah. project, mm -hmm. but I would like to um, have some action by the commission in terms of well, re reinvigorating yes. the panel. 
I know that yeah. Commissioner Fong asked for that on this meeting, and we just felt like it would be really great to um, right. uh, we take it, it up that, anew understand. and but, plan a, maybe a joint meeting right mm -hmm. at our January meeting. Invite we'll them. January yeah. will do that because we really need to take care of yeah. that. Thank you. And we had to do it in January so everybody is present. And there was another person, a resident of Tiburon, and he wanted to have a proposal for a public art for us. So I'm going to, uh, I have asked him not to, we are not going to talk about it at this time, but next time for in January meeting, we will allow her to come and talk with us and give her opinion of this uh, artist that he's a friend of his. Public art. Can I ask a it's question? A public art, and so he that... has given me his. Uh, okay, we can't go. Book. We can't go into any discussion about it. We'll okay. just add it to we the. We cannot. Point but of, we're going to do it. Point of uh, process yes. question. Um, for some reason, I thought that we had recently suggested that all artists go through the PASP as a process. If something's coming to us, that that is the starting point, rather than some come here, some go there, so that we develop Good a point. process. Actually, I have I actually asked this person to get in touch with Richard Rosen. Yeah. So and he did. They have been talking about it. I said there won't be any discussion until January meeting. And he said, much obliged, we will do that. So it has already been done that way. Yes. Do we need to vote on that or is it already? No, no, this is just for future that's, agenda. That's for future but agenda. You're right to clarify <laughs> that. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, I guess it is the adjournment and happy yeah. holidays to everyone. Meeting adjourned at 6.28 p.m. Thank you. Thank you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Oh.